February is Black History Month, but why February? Have you ever wondered why we celebrate Black History in February? Well, this is why. Black History Month is an annual Black American celebration. We celebrate the many people who were killed, beaten, suffered, and fought for us to have equal rights and justice. This is celebrated every February. But why February? Well, it is stated that both Abram Lincoln and Frederick Douglass were born in February, and both of these men, along with others, worked hard to put an end to slavery. Carter Woodson, who was our first black historian and was named the father of history, was concerned that the story of black history would not be told. So he announced that the second week in February would be dedicated to celebrate black history. More and more people began to celebrate black history on the second week in February. In 1969, it was proposed that the so February be celebrated as Black History Month in 1975. President Gerald Ford recognized Black February as Black History Month. He said the accomplishments of African Americans have been too long neglected. So that's why February is Black History Month. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Yes, that is why we celebrate Black History Month. As you guys all know, this comes around every year, and every year we always talk about the same people, and not that they don't need their recognition, because they're very significant, but we always talk about Martin Luther King, we always talk about Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, faces that we know from the beginning of time since we were even in school. Uh, but today we're gonna try to highlight some people that we don't really talk about much in black history uh, like we used to. But this is gonna take a little crowd participation. We have six black history people for you guys today, but like I said, a little, a little participation from the crowd. So when they come here and they say, who are they? I want you to try to yell out and tell me if you know who these people are. And if y'all know, y'all need to get y'all history books. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, I, I need our, um, our people to talk loud. They're gonna give some facts about themselves, and then I wanna see what y'all know. Y'all ready? ready? All right, let's go. Let's you go. can probably turn. She needs to turn. Okay. I'm one of 17 children born in South Carolina. My dream was to become a missionary in Africa. But when I was told black missionaries weren't welcome, I decided to educate those in my own country. In 1904, I found that the industrial training school for Negro girls with $1.50 and six students. I want a few female college, I want a few female college president, a civil rights leader, and an advisor to five US presidents. I have made many foundations, including the National Council of Negro Women. I even have a college co-funded by me. Thank you, Pastor Smith, for attending. Who am I? I am Mary McLeod Bethune. All right, y'all got one. Y'all got one so far. <laughs> I served 50 years in this country. I, e I even served in the Spanish-American War and in World War II. I battled alongside the famed Buffalo Soldiers and became the first African-American general in the U.S. Army. 
My son even followed in my footsteps and became the second African-American general in the U.S. Army, eventually leading the Tuskegee Airmen. The bronze medal is one of many of my awards, and in 1948, President Truman ordered that to end all discriminatory practices in, U in armed forces, relying on the foundations that I built. Who am I? Right. I am Benjamin Oliver Davis Sr. Right. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Okay, we got one over here. We got one. In 1905, I found in one of the most important black weekly newspapers in history, the Chicago Defender. I made half a million dollars in a week at its peak, and just to think, I only started off with 25 cents. My magazines led the way of others like a sense, Black Enterprise, and Jets Beauty of the Week. I highlighted the 1919 Chicago riots and helped millions of blacks escape Jim Crow laws and find employment in Windy City. Who am I? Robert Albert. Albert. American flying schools denied me because of my race, so I moved to France and learned French to attend the Codrens Brothers School of Aviation. In June 15, 1922, I was the first black person to earn my pilot's license. Um, I specialize in stunt flying and I paved the way for many people, such as the Tuskegee Airmen and the Blackbirds. In 2006, I was inducted into the Aviation Hall of Fame. Who am I? Oh, I am Bessie Coleman. <laughs> I was the most fair black man in the South, not only numerally to Supreme Court Justice in 1967 and given 24 years for service. I was in AACP, lead internment, and first direct counsel to the, to the legal defense. I won more cases, cases before the next Nixon highest court. Here. Y'all knew a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit though. But yeah, we just really wanted to uh, highlight more people because there have been a lot more people that have paved the way for us in many different ways that we are not even, or we don't even talk to our kids about. So I even want to make this a challenge for you. Go out and learn about someone in black history that you've never knew about before because there are a lot of people. We are still even in today having a lot of first time black people to do this and to do that. And we're still making history to this day. So. I just want us to just constantly and continually uh, encourage our young ones and, you know, a lot of the people that they did, they didn't even know about. So it's a nice learning lesson for them as well.
up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the lord the lord which made heaven and earth he said he will not suffer thy foot thy foot to be moved the lord which keeps 